Hey guys, welcome to Jobber Tech Channel. In today's video, we're gonna create a bottom navigation bar for the app that we're building. In our last video, we've created our routing system using Go Router package. So to make it consistent, we'll utilize Go Router's feature to create our bottom navigation bar. And if you're interested to check our last video where we demonstrate how to redirect a user to a specific screen, Using the Go Router's redirect feature, then I'll add the link to that video in the description below. Here's what we're aiming for our bottom navigation bar. Here on the home screen, we have a list of users, and if we click one of the users, it navigates us to the user details screen. And here in the chats tab are the list of active chats we have. Let's say we replied to our friend Jose Rizal. And after replying, we want to come here at the account tab to edit our profile. So while editing, Jose Rizal suddenly pings back, so we navigated back to the chats tab. And as you can see, once we go back to our chats tab, we are still at the same screen where we left off, which means the state of this tab is preserved. So after chatting, we wanna go back to our account tab to continue editing our profile. And like how the chats tab behaves, this tab is also preserved so we didn't lose anything. This kind of bottom navigation bar is what we wanna achieve. That preserves their state so that we won't lose anything when we suddenly navigate to another tab while doing something important. Since we already have integrated Go Router into our app and already crafted our routing system in our last video, then we can just simply go ahead and add this feature into our routing system. But as a short recap to those who are new to Go Router, using Go Router to your app is pretty straightforward. Just simply add Go Router into your prospect.yaml file, create an app router file or whatever file you want and then define your Go Router and encapsulates all your routes inside it. And lastly, incorporate it into your app's main class. Just like this. The only thing you need to take note here, if you arrange your routes like this, that your routes are all at the same level, then all your route paths needs to start with forward slash. Because if you miss that, Go Router will yell at you because it doesn't recognize your path. And also you need to specify your initial location, especially if your initial location is not your root route, so that Go Router knows the initial route to render. But if you wanna follow what I'm doing, then I think it would be easier for you to follow along. What I mostly do here is to create a single route which I call it root and then inside this root I will define all the sub routes inside it. The advantages of this kind of setup are you no longer need to define your initial location because it's as clear as the sunrise that go router has only a single route. And then after setting your route path to forward slash you no longer need to start all your sub routes path with forward slash because they are already nested inside your root route. And another reason why I'm doing this is because in most mobile applications, upon opening the app, there is often a welcome screen before prompting users to sign up to get started. So this root route serves as the welcome screen of our app. But this is all my personal point of view. You can design your routing system however you want and however you feel comfortable with. So with all that in mind, Let's get started. Before we begin, let's first visit Go Router's repository to guide us on how to do it. As you can see, this is an example they provided for us. I will add the link to this in the description below for your reference. They use the stateful shell route that index stack, and this returns a scaffold with navbar widget. So let's take a look at this widget. Wow, this widget is already toasted for us. 
we can just simply copy paste it and then down here are the list of branches which means the list of tabs that we need for our bottom navigation bar so there as simple as that this is pretty easy to do because it's already cooked up and ready to eat however before we dive into coding let's blueprint our game plan we only want our bottom navigation bar to our main screen so we shouldn't be seeing the bottom navigation bar while signing in so how can we do this well what we can do is to position our stateful shell route alongside with the sign-in screen and other screens that don't need a bottom navigation bar so we'll define it as one of their siblings this is the overall idea of how we'll craft this so i hope everything is clear and if there are confusions that need clarifications please feel free to write your questions in the comment section below so let's go ahead and code our theory to see if it works as expected let's arrange this side by side so that we'll have a guide let's just follow go router's example here now let's create a scaffold with navbar file and copy this class they cook up for us Then let's create the list of branches. Since what we're aiming for is only three tabs, let's create three branches. Then let's add the base route for each branch. there you go everything seems to be in place take note that if you modified something inside your go router class you need to restart your app to make the changes take effect so let's go ahead and restart our app and check if it's working there you go we have now our bottom navigation in place but the problem is the icons and labels are using the defaults provided by go router so let's customize it inside the scaffold with navbar widget that we have copied to align it with our target bottom navbar okay moment of truth let's see if our bottom navigation preserves the state as expected there you go we got it correctly the next thing we need to test is if we're not getting the bottom navigation bar while signing in and only see the bottom navigation bar after we signed in so let's log out of our app okay perfect but there is one last nugget that i wanted to chew before we wrap up 
if you have browse specific to a tab let's say for instance you want the chat room screen to be anchored to the chat tab then you have to nest it within this branch in our case since we define the chat room route outside the stateful shell route and if we want to open the chats from this home tab we will be able to do so without being redirected to the chat tab so let's try to nest our chat room route within our chat branch for you to be able to see the difference okay let's refresh our app and try to access the chat room screen inside our home tab there you go we can see that we are now redirected to this chat tab because our chat room route is nested inside this chat tab that's it for this video guys harnessing the power of go router we've built a dynamic and preserving bottom navigation system this structure ensures a fluid user experience retaining ongoing tasks and enhancing app navigation thank you so much for tuning in guys if this video helped you out please give it a big thumbs up share it with your fellow flutter enthusiasts and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content